Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Hank Williams Sr. called Alone and Forsaken. And it's going to start on an A minor chord, and the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go on the B on the first fret, second finger is going to go D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an like A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to an E major chord. And the way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, Second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major, and it sounds really, really happy. And you'll kind of notice it's the same shape for both chords. So in your chord shifts, you may want to just try and move the whole shape and kind of move all three fingers at the same time. But just to try that through our verse form, we've got an A minor, A minor, A minor, A minor. A minor, A minor, E major, A minor, A minor. And we end up repeating that four times until we get to our chorus. And on our chorus, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And if you know the bar F major, we'll talk about an easy substitute in a minute. But if you know the bar F major, you put your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like F major bar chord. It sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times bar chords can be kind of difficult, especially if you're starting out. So a good substitute for that chord can be F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go B on the first fret. Second finger is going to go G on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the, the D, G, B, and E with that, just the top four strings, that'll get you your clearest sound with that, and that's called F major 7. And then from F major 7, we're going to be going to a shape that seems really similar to that too, where first finger is going to stay on the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret, and that's called C major. So we're kind of doing a C major chord. And we're going to end up doing a C major, and then we're going to, from the C major, we're going to go back to A minor. A minor, and then an E major, and then back to A minor. So those are the four chords that we really kind of need for this song, is A minor, E, F, and C. So a lot of times with a song like this, what I like to do is to kind of add a strum pattern to make it more interesting, and Alone and Forsaken is kind of in a 3-4 uh, time, time signature, and so we, to match that with the strum pattern, you want to do a down, and then a down, up, down, up. So it's going to be kind of feeling like a wall, it's in three. So we just take the A minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, 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 down, So you want to do that a lot to get your right hand used to it. And if we tried that through our verse form, we'd have A minor, down, down, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, down, A minor, down. Major down, down, up, down, up, F down, down, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, C major down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down. So that could be one way to kind of strum through the song. You'd be repeating the verse and the chorus. But what it really sounds like Hank's doing is adding in some bass notes to make it even more interesting. And so a lot of times instead of doing a down, down, up, down, up, what we could do is we could do a bass, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like if you took the A minor and on the first down did just the A string by itself, that's the A note and it kind of is the bass note for an A minor chord. So we could do that A string and then do a down, up, down up for our strum pattern, bass, down. Major, then the lowest note with the name of the chord the, the, is the open E string because we were playing the E chord. So on the E major, you could do a low E bass and then do a down and down. Low E bass, down up, down E with a low E bass, down up, down E with a low E bass, down up, down up. And then if you want to apply that to the chorus, when you get to the F major, if you're doing the bar F major, you want to do the low E string for your bass. So you got low E bass, down up, low E bass, down up. 
and you want to do the D string for your bass because that's the lowest F note that you're kind of playing in that chord. D bass down, up, down, down, make yourself a D bass down, up, down. And then we get to the C major, you got A string for the bass on the C because that's the lowest C note that we have on the guitar is A string third fret. that way with our bass down up down up and then we have the A minor with the bass on the A down up down A minor with the A bass down up down A minor with the A bass down up down A minor with the A bass down up down A minor with the A bass down up down A minor with the A bass down up down B with the low E bass down up down A minor with the A bass down up down A minor with the A bass down up down and then we'd be repeating that for our next verse we'd have the A bass is sometimes in a, in a normal country feel, if you're in four, a lot of times what you do is you do a root down up, fifth down up. And what it really kind of sounds like in this tune Hank is doing is kind of doing that with the three four. So now he's got a root down up, down up, fifth down up, down up, when he's got the A minors together especially. So on the A minor, something else you may want to try doing is doing the A string for your bass. And then the low E string is something called the fifth of the chord. Kind of count that on your fingers, like if A was one A, B, C, D, E, some type of E note is the fifth of that chord. And on our A minor, it's just the open A and then for the root and the open E for the fifth. So you may want to try that too, just taking that A minor root. Down, up, down, for the fifth. Down, up, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, up, down, A minor with the B bass. Down, up, down, up. Now we don't really get an opportunity to do this in the song, but if you did the E major that way, you'd have the low E for the bass. A string would be a B note for the fifth. So on the E, you got low E bass. A string for the fifth. E major with low E bass. Down, down, A string, A major, or A, A bass for the fifth. Because you're going E and B. When you get to the F major chord, if you're doing the bar F major, you do the low E string for the, for the root, and then the A string for your fifth, which is a C note. So you got low E bass, down, 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 and then F with a C bass, which is third fret on the A string. So you go low E bass, down, up, down, up, A string bass, down, up, down, low E bass, down, up, down, up, A for the fifth, down, up, down. If you're doing the F major seven, there's a cool trick you could do where you could do the D string for the root, and then take the third finger and move it to the A string on the third. Because you're going for that C note kind of from, from the, well, yeah, you're kind of going, well, what I think of is down. <laughs> so you're going to F, D string bass, move to the third fret on the A string bass. F or D with a D bass, or F major 7 with a D bass, and then the third fret on the A string for the fifth. And then on the C chord, you could do the A string for the root, and then your low E string on the third fret is where the G note would be for a C chord for the fifth. So you have the A string third, low E string third, A string third, low E string third. This is a little weird because you got to get the finger used to move it for the fifth on that. But if we try to reverse that way, you have the A minor with the root. Down, up, down, fifth. Down, up, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, up, down, A minor with the B bass. Down, up, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, up, down, A minor with the B bass. Down, up, down, and then an E major with a low E bass. Down, up, down, and then we go back to A minor for an A bass. Down, up, down, low E bass. Down, up, down. Which I think really kind of matches the song really, really well. And it also kind of evens out that that uh, that phrasing at the, at the end, which is kind of weird. Um, but then on the chorus part, you have the F with the low E bass, down up down fifth, down up down up, and then the C with the root, down up down fifth, down up down C with the A bass, down up down move the low E bass, down up down, and then you're back to the A minor with the root, down up down fifth, down up down E major with the root, down up down A minor with the A bass. So 
I think that could be kind of a really cool way to, to kind of try going through the tune, too. But that's the basics of how you would play Alone and Forsaken by Hank Williams Sr., so good luck!